Hello everyone, welcome back to another video of Cloud Deep Dive. In today's video, we will talk about Amazon Aurora Multimaster. So like in our last video, where we discussed about Amazon Aurora architecture, we discussed that in Amazon Aurora cluster, you will have common storage. You will have one primary DB instance, which will act as your writer node, and you can have multiple read replicas. So you will get one cluster endpoint with the writer endpoint and one reader endpoint and your writer endpoint will take all your write transaction which will send those transaction to your writer node and your reader endpoint will take all your read transaction and with load balance between your read replicas now in amazon aurora multimaster you don't have read replica instead you have same database or same db instance uh, which can handle your write and read queries and you can have multiple of these. So instead of read replicas, you have multiple read and write DB instances, which will handle both your read and write queries. So in Aurora Multimaster, the endpoint are a little different from your other Amazon Aurora clusters. So in other Amazon Aurora clusters, what happened that you get one writer endpoint and then you get one reader endpoint as well. But in Aurora Multigaster, you get individual endpoint for each DB instance. So your application uh, need to control that logic uh, to which write request to send to which DB instance because uh, you have individual endpoint for each DB instance which can perform both read and write queries. So it's a bit different. Uh, from other kind of DB clusters where you typically direct all your write operations to one write endpoint and all your read operations to one read endpoint. Here is a little different from that one because you have individual endpoint for each database instance and that can perform both read and write operations. Another thing like in single master cluster, you can have 15 read replicas, but in this multi master, you can have four db instances at a time so at the time of recording it may go five or six in future but right now you can have only four db instances amazon aurora multimaster does not do any load balancing and what time what do you mean by that in your other amazon aurora clusters you have one writer endpoint and one reader endpoint and that reader endpoint can send traffic to multiple read replicas so any read transitions coming to the reader endpoint will be distributed across these read replicas and that load balancing is done by that cluster it takes care of all those stuff but in aurora multimaster because we have a single uh, individual endpoint for each db instance that load balancing does not happen that you have to uh, do at your application level so your application must implement its own connection management logic to distribute your read and write operation between these multiple DB and instance endpoints. Next, let's go and see how you can create a Aurora Multimaster cluster. So for that, we'll go to the RDS console and we'll click on create database. In that, we'll select Amazon Aurora. And there are two additions are supported for Amazon Aurora. One is MySQL, another one is PostgreSQL. So for this, we'll select MySQL because Multimaster is only uh, supported by MySQL. If I go to the PostSQL edition, that Multimaster is not supported. So in replications feature, you will get two options, single master or multimaster. In single master is same where you get one master node and multiple reader node. But in multimaster, you will get uh, multiple master nodes. Then you can provide a name, suppose I say test. Uh, credential will be auto generated. It support the previous generation instance class. We'll select that. And under availability and mutability, now you have multi AZ deployment. In that, you have two options. One is like you can go with the multiple master nodes, like multiple reader node, uh, sorry, writer node, which provide you the high availability in case one goes down. Second will be available for your application. Or you can also choose an option where you don't want to create a secondary master node. So based on your requirement, you can go with either one master node or you can go with the multiple master node. So I won't go through all the options of uh, how to create this Aurora cluster because other options are similar to what we discussed during RDS. Uh, next, I want to show you that I created two different databases. One is multi master and one is single master. So let's first go to the single master where I want to show you that you get two endpoints, one for the writer instance and another for the reader instance. So if you have multiple readers, so you can still use the same endpoint 
to send your read request to those reader instances. In addition, you will get individual uh, endpoint as well for your writer and your reader, which you hardly use in this case. When we go to the multi master, so you will get only one uh, endpoint. So if you see at the cluster level, you will get only one endpoint. And this endpoint is always point to DB instance with read and write capability. Each multi master cluster have only one endpoint. So like it's shown here that you will get only one, one cluster level endpoint. Because, like I mentioned in my video, that applications in multi master cluster typically include logic or they have to build their own logic to manage connection to specific DB instance because this endpoint won't do any load balancing for you. You have to uh, add that logic or you have to use individual endpoints for these DB instances to send your queries. So, most of the time, for multi master uh, application does not use this cluster level endpoint they use the specific db instance which is provided here so the main difference if you see between single instance and uh, multi master is in multi master you have multiple writer nodes whereas in uh, single master you have only one writer where and multiple reader nodes and in this case you will get uh, two endpoints one for the writer and one for the reader but in this case the cluster level endpoint is not used whereas application has to use the DB level uh, endpoints for their write and read queries. So that's all about multi master uh, cluster folks. Uh, if you have any question, please let me know. I'll be happy to answer. Uh, if you like this video, please hit the like button and share it with your friends. And uh, please do subscribe and please uh, press on the bell icon. I will be putting more videos uh, regarding AWS in the near future. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Thank you. Bye.